Hey gang, Larry Vickers here. Day after SHOT Show 2016, Center Firearms was kind enough to loan us a gun that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while for your benefit, the HK MG4. This is essentially HK's equivalent or competitor to the M249 saw, but it does have a number of features that the M249 saw does not have, such as side folding buttstock, okay? Quick change barrel, of course, since it has the multi-lug rotating bolt, you have to lock the bolt to the rear before you can get the bolt out, and it has a lever to release the barrel. Charging handle folds, we'll show you that here in a second. Also, this particular one has a 3X magnified optic on top and a folding front sight, which also is elevation and windage adjustable. Notice it has Picatinny rails that are already welded onto the receiver, so if you mount a lighter or a laser in particular, you know you're going to be able to retain zero on it. Bipod folds underneath. Nut sack is interesting, attaches to the side, but it's bottom eject. They had to get a little creative in terms of getting the ammo under the gun in order to balance it for ease of carry. We're going to load this thing up, get it out here on the range, and get our cameras on it to get you some dynamite footage of the German HK MG4. All right, let me run you through a few features on this before we get going. A couple things, you can only put it on safe once the bolt's locked to the rear. If the bolt's forward, you cannot put it on safe. Only once the bolt locked to the rear, you have the ability to take it from safe to fire. Loaded feed tray indicator. So if you have ammo remaining in the feed tray, you have a little tab that jumps up, a little red flag that lets you know there's still something in the feed tray. Folding charging handle on this side. So once you run it to charge the gun, you can fold it up to get out of the way. Dust cover ejection port on the bottom also acts as a brass deflector. Time to go hot. Okay, one of the pluses of a three power optic, as you can see, you get pretty good group dispersion downrange. Now this is bolted on top of a Picatinny rail. You can take the optic off. You can also put a red dot on it if you want, or the standard iron sights. Front sight is folding, so if you're running a magnified optic or a red dot and you don't want to have the front sight in your field of view, you have the option of folding it down. I'm a little bit uh, on the fence about the bottom eject versus side eject, because what that does to you is it's hard to get the center of balance of the ammo under the gun. That's the benefit of side eject versus bottom eject. And also what I'd like to see on this is a semi-automatic feature. So you have the ability to go safe, semi, and full auto. That's worth its weight in gold, especially if you're doing it for nothing but zeroing. It allows you to get a very precise zero instead of having to go off a burst to set zero your optics, your red dot, or your iron sights. Hope you enjoyed this little snapshot into the HK MG4, one of the rarest post-sample belt-fed machine guns in the United States. Thank you, Center Firearms, and enjoy. Have a good one.